All right. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian, and for today, we're gonna we're gonna be doing something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Uh, now, you might have possibly seen some of this already, because I did about an hour of streaming this game already, uh, but because of the fact that I ran into some internet issues, uh, Wi-Fi issues and stuff while streaming, I figured I might as well just make it a Let's Play. It'll be easier to do uh, on top of the fact that I know a lot of you guys are actually, like, you know, interested in watching this again and stuff. Hopefully the game's not too laggy, because my computer is kind of a piece of crap right now, but other than that, let's get started with the game. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, oh yeah, I remember that this. <laughs> Just a quick reminder, I have played like the first hour of the game on stream already, so some of my reactions might not be as genuine compared to when I first saw them, but at the very least, like everything's still fairly new to me anyways. I, I wouldn't mind seeing like things for a second time, so. Um, like this right here, this whole like sphere grid usage, they, they gave, I had no idea what this was. Um, I literally just got to the part in the game where they literally just taught me what the sphere grid w even was. So, I don't even know what the difference between standard and expert is. Someone told me in the chat on stream that like, I don't know, I guess it's more selective. So I don't know. Standard was supposed to be easier, so I was like, okay, cool. We'll go with standard. Um, yes, I want standard sphere grid. Now, this at the school, I thought the fact I could actually choose my soundtrack type. I thought that was pretty cool. You don't really see too many games these days that actually have a feature like that. So that's like, I don't know. It's it's small stuff like this that I appreciate. But I went with the arranged just because I thought that'd be nice. Uh, yeah, play the uh, arranged soundtrack. I, I love this song so much. It's, not, what is it? Return to Zarkand or something? Zarkand? I don't know. All I know is that I have first heard this song from uh, the Final Fantasy Record Keeper app. You know, the one that they did a collaboration with, with Kingdom Hearts New Cross. Ah, it's such good soundtracks. I still don't know who some of these people are. Like, I don't know who the, who the random chick on the right is, and I don't know who the silver-haired guy in the middle is. Uh... I think that's supposed to be you now. Like one of the, one thing I pointed out in my stream for this was that I I like everyone looks so different compared to their their Kingdom Hearts like version of them, and I'm just like why? I'm so confused why they did that. For me, for me, playing Kingdom Hearts first, then playing this, it's they they look weird to me as a Kingdom Hearts player. But I can only imagine as a Final Fantasy player going into Kingdom Hearts, how weird they must look in Kingdom Hearts and not the other way around. <laughs> so I don't know. I just find that very interesting. I still don't know what the heck this like aura stuff is that's flying in the background. I'm still I'm honestly like literally in the first hour of this game, they just throw so much at you. I'm just like, what is happening? Okay. <laughs> they just like throw things at you. I'm just like, okay, what is Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. This part right here gets me too. Like, I'm assuming Titus. I don't. Titus. Titus. I'm, I'm assuming it's Titus. Okay. Titus. I'm assuming he's the one who's talking right there. Okay. Like he's reminiscing. Whatever. All right. Um, as someone in the chat ex like said, like the. It, it looks like this game's going along the home is like, oh, let me take a rest along the campfire. Let me tell you my story before we reach the end of the game. <laughs> and then this shit, what is this? It comes out of nowhere. I'm just like, oh, okay, such, you know, end of the world type stuff. Oh, hey, we're, it's like a party or something. I don't know who this guy is that they start running. 
and I'm assuming this is supposed to be some sort of like holographic billboard Okay, and then this guy comes out of nowhere. I guess he's invisible. I don't know. I don't like <laughs> This is like, okay. I just got to accept it. Sure. All right This right here also confused me, okay I thought this was weird just interesting So I can actually move around here So I thought I was supposed to just move around and stuff, but I didn't realize until I did it by accident, but I can actually like click on people. Can I have your autograph? Of course. We'll just keep it as tight as T just. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal. Uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? That's so cringe. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's that. La oh He's my god. Oh my god. Even it's more cringe. Got it. <sighs> Can you sign this? No problem. Like my first impressions of this was like, yes. what is this? Obviously, I'm some sort of like popular person, I guess. And the way he holds himself just irks me a little bit. I don't know if it's just because, like, you know, it's it's like well, PS2 graphics or whatever. Cheer for me. Two, three. She just had a blitz. Hey, I got a it's game like, to play. I'm assuming Blitz is the name of the game she or whatever. Maybe tonight. Uh... You can't tonight. I mean tomorrow. And it's like he looks at him Promise. as if he knows the dude. Promise. And it's like, okay, who's the dude then? The invisible person. And what is this supposed to mean? See that guy in the sign on the right side? I don't know if he's, or the top left right there. I, I mean, I'm pointing. You guys can't see it, but <laughs> I'm like pointing at my screen. He looks familiar. I don't remember where he's from though, like where I've seen him. I mean, that dude. Yeah, I don't. I can't recall where I've seen him before. Maybe record keeper. I don't know. I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone, vanished into thin air. I, like, I don't know who's talking right here. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. I still, I don't know who Jet is. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. Oh, his name's Zanar. I don't know who that is. My dad and I never talked so much. They don't mean to reminisce. Make way, make way. Coming through, sorry. This part confused me as well. Because, like, I'm in the hey, bottom. I'm gonna be late. I can't move. Hey, let go of me. It's just all in the way. Can they still tackle me? Okay. And then this part right here also just confuses <laughs> confused the crap of me because it's like what is he sitting in? And this part is just like it's just hardcore death metal all of a sudden it's like ball of energy, people going nuts, and it's like what is It's just so sudden. This whole game is just so random and sudden. And I'm just like, he's holding a ball. Oh, oh, one thing I did mention as well though, that it makes, it finally makes sense to me though, how in Kingdom Hearts 1, why they're messing around with a ball, like as part of the Destiny Island tutorials and stuff like that, when you like smack the ball around and stuff like that. It makes so much more sense now because it's related to whatever this sport is. And then Orin over here is being like, like, 
creeper. Like, like, what is this? Personally, I like. Personally, I wish they kind of zoomed out on this. I feel like it would have been cooler to watch that. It kind of makes me remind me of the. Uh, of like the Star Wars prequel when like Anakin's sitting with the, the Sith Lord watching this like weird astral performance that's like people dancing in midair or whatever like that. That's what this reminds me of, of their sport, whatever it is. Can I actually go back to him? No. Huh. Orin. Like, I, I don't understand what are you Orin. Doing here? I was, waiting for you. I was like, what I was, I was surprised. About? I'm just surprised Titus actually knows Orin because Orin looks like such a creep. Orin comes across like the bad guy. And especially coming from a Kingdom Hearts background where like he's summoned by Hades as like, you know, one of the most hardcore bad dudes in history or whatever. I don't know. I just have an image that Orin is a bad dude. Bad guy in my head. Huh? Huh? And then this is just trippy. I don't know what this is. It begins. What? Don't cry. Yeah, exactly. What huh? the? <laughs> hey, wait. Hey, not this way. Look. Call body water sin, and they just look at you like they understand. I'm just like I don't understand. What the heck is sin? What is this? Is that sin? Is the body of water sin? So we, we know Jet is Titus's dad. I hope you know how to use it. Oh yeah, of course we do. It's not like we just gave it to me, but sure. These ones don't matter. We cut through. Okay. So this part, 
is where like it reminds me that Final Fantasy is, is typically a turn-based game because I'm so used to a uh, like I, I kind of mentioned it before in my stream, but like in in some of the like latest Final Fantasy games, because of the cutscenes, it just continues to give me the impression like all the cutscenes and the environment and how the stage looks and stuff. It makes it look like it's like a a free roaming hack and slash, kind of like how Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy run. 15 is. So when it goes turn based, it just throws me off because it doesn't give me the impression that like the game is turn based until like we actually get to a battle. Um, uh, yeah, I just gotta go through the middle ones. Okay, so this one we learn about overdrives. We're basically like special moves for each character. On the bottom right hand corner of the screen, or like my where it shows my health and MP and stuff, the yellow bar, when the bar is full, that means I can use my overdrive. It's basically like a, a reaction command, basically, kind of. Uh, no, not a reaction. It's more like a like a limit. Or a you know drive gate. No, yeah, it's more like a limit. A limit would probably make more sense. So right here, Orin can use Bushido because he has his drivers all the way full. And when you use them, you typically have to do some type of input to like make sure the damage is a good amount. Is this Titus? This is Titus. Okay, so we can actually use Titus's uh, overdrive. I think I can, uh, I can afford attacking in the time. Okay. Pretty sure you should be down in like one or two more hits.
you laughing at, old man? Right, uh, okay. I didn't catch that last time, so that makes sense. Okay, so that's Jet. That's his. That's his dad. Who's this orange? Uh, Alright, there we go. I need to. Uh... Oh, no! Fuck. <laughs> I just healed the enemy by accident. <laughs> I was trying to heal Titus. God dang it. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> this whole part, it's like, what? He was just with, he was just standing next to him. Titus jumped first, I believe. And Orin's above him somehow, okay. This whole scene, it just feels like it, like, I, like, I don't know which one came first. Did this come first? Oh no, this had to have come first, because did Kingdom Hearts just rip off this scene or something? Because like, it just feels like dust in the islands all over again. Your home world, this is it's, it. it's all fine and dandy. And then this orange is basically acting as Riku over here. And this Titus is being sore. See, like, the lines are even kind of similar. There's a big, you know, they're getting swallowed by darkness. Teleported to, like, somewhere else. It all begins here. <laughs> that face, though. It just feels, I don't know, like... I can, I can, I can feel the Final Fantasy like hey. Uh, hey. references now, in at least in Kingdom Hearts One, Why just from like the beginning man? of this. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Oh, over here. I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel I don't know that kid lightheaded is. and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone. I swear I heard the Kingdom Hearts me. dream. That's like a so far off I memory. I didn't have to feel alone anymore. A far off memory. That's like another. That's like a dream. I want to line the pieces up, yours and mine. 
One of the best quotes, in my opinion. So now we're getting close to where, uh, where I left off. So here's a safe port. Oh, this, 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 this sound right here. This sounds like the beginning of one of those, uh, those Final Fantasy songs. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm actually gonna overwrite my proof of sci file. I didn't get too far anyway, so it's not a big deal to me. I remember there being a chest or something right here. The high potions are actually like recover a ton of HP. Doesn't make too much sense to me. He goes underwater to fight them. It's like, okay. Not what I would have done, but sure. Overkill. Thank you. 
This part I always thought was like, it just feels so clutch. It's like, god dang, you're like inside his mouth. I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. And then this, like, the sounds of him stepping, it just... It just sounds so, like... It sounds like metal. Sorry about that. I had to fix some stuff. Let me save real quick. Okay. This part didn't make any sense to me. The fact he just, he just finds Flint. It's like, okay. See, like, like the steps sound so much more normal now. And so, oop, what is this? Compared to like what they were before, where it sounded like metal hitting like the bottom. I remember there was a chest over here. I don't remember this, those things being there last time. I actually don't, I don't remember being here at all last time. Oh yeah, never mind, I was here. Okay, never mind. Never mind, ignore me. <laughs> that face. It sounds like he, he he makes it sound like he's at home. What do you, what do you want? want? It was a bad call. 
Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? <laughs> it's been ten years. <laughs> I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. Who's the kid? That's what I want to know. This guy runs so fast along the walls. On my side? Cool. Uh, certain Isaac grenades have special effects when used. One of these during battle by second special buttons. Okay. Use grenade. Oh, whoops. This is Titus. Does so much damage. Oh wait, it's her again. Ah, uh, steel as well. Hey, grenade times two. Oh, she's running low. Hopefully that's enough. Hey, there we go. Got him. It's like, oh crap, okay. Uh, oh my god.
It's like, what is happening? <laughs> Just randomly kidnapped. Abducted. I get saved and then I get, like, robbed. Job. Oh my god, I, <laughs> he just got You're up and he like, jet, just knock him back down. Whoa. Okay. Hey, nurse. Right, whatever. <laughs> Do we hold Kabeg? I said I don't understand. Fed! You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. All right, this is close to where I left off. Uh, I did their mission, and then that was basically all I did. Just save real quick. I'm gonna do the mission real quick and then uh, that'll be it for today's episode. Oh, almost. There we go. Here's the sphere grid. Oh my god. This thing is so freaking complicated. Jesus Christ. Okay. I already know I already know how to do this. I like I'm gonna skip this part. It's so long, though. <laughs> like, if you've played Final Fantasy XV, it's kind of similar to that. Okay. Uh, the only difference is, like, though... It, like, these nodes are huge. Huge. Hold on. I don't know how fast I can skip this. So essentially, like, I can I can get nodes, and different nodes upgrade my status and points and abilities and stuff like that. And that's, that's basically it. Okay. They're making it super, and like, in order to unlock certain types of nodes, I need certain types of, like, node points. Like, there's different types of node points or whatever. So, they make it sound super complicated when it's really not. And this is how big this freaking huge map is. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Look at that. Let me see if I can get to that again. Uh, triangle, I think. Sphere grid. Look at this. Look how huge this thing is. Okay, hold on. This thing is massive. Oh my god. Look how big this skill tree is. It's ridiculous. Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever seen a skill tree this massive before. Oh my lord. Yes, return. Uh, let me just save again so I don't have to like go through that again. some ancient ruins right beneath us it's not active now but there should still be some power left we're gonna go down there and activate it and then we should be able to salvage the big prize mm -hmm. okay let's get to work roger Ooh, 
that a save station? Save station! He's just banging on it. He's not even trying to like figure it out. It's just that's just how you fix electronics. You just bang it until it works. I was like, why? Well, okay, there we go. Oh, whoops. I thought that was Titus. Okay, I guess that works. Ouch. Okay, now what? I guess we just turned on the power. I still don't understand how they're supposed to like last this long underwater. Doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. So this is, this is where I learn about trigger commands. And it's basically just me going on standby and being able to heal. Right. Oh. Do I have any grenades left? I do not. Okay, so let's steal some. Steal it. That's cool. All right, I guess we'll use the grenade. Uh, pincer attack. Special steel. Great. We try again. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Last time I was able to steal like an unlimited supply of grenades from him. Did she just heal H oh no, never mind. I was her her Bar. I guess we'll attack. Okay, it's not it's not too much damage.
I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I just see a bunch of rocks. Underground boat, I don't know. I mean, underwater boat. Sid Skyship, I don't know. Hoof, roof to Tonka Deep. Way, Wichetta. Hey, hey, I helped out, didn't I? This part got me. It's so... She gives him what looks like prison food. With like spaghetti and stuff. And he looks like it's... the And he eats it with his bare hands like a barbarian. And then he begins to choke on it. Like... What kind of... Who, who does that? Who does that? Hey! Who acts like this when they eat? It's because you eat too fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey! Hello there. What is your name? I love how you asked that now. And I'm totally surprised that, like, th she's actually Riku. From, like, you know, Riku and Pain. Because she she's obviously not wearing the, the typical Riku outfit. I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. A fiend? I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, we means you. Um. Who are you guys anyway? This is basically where I left you're off. Albed. Can't you tell? Right after the cutscene, this is basically where I left off. Wait, you're not an Albed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a Blitzball player. Uh, star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did that whole part, I guess that whole part must have been originally been in Japanese or something, because like the wording was completely off from what like um, audio. You guys hit me. Oh right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. Is that about okay. life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack? And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near sin. Mm hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm like, sick? Like, I don't even know what sin because is. Because of sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. Like, the fuck? So, no what? Blitzball there. What? A thousand years? Huh? Yeah, exactly, what? <laughs> what? What, what do you mean? A thousand like years that's on a ago. completely another level from Kingdom Hearts, where it's just like, no, no, you just got teleported to another world. You're just your world's destroyed, but that happened a thousand years ago? same no timeline. Nah, it's like you got teleported to the future. It's like what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
Okay, so this is where I left off. Well, hold on. I picked up this book first, but... Apparently, you can actually, like, interpret the language in this game by picking up books and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. It's different. It's interesting, at least. <laughs> the fact that I can slowly start to understand their language sooner or later is... I don't know. I think that's cool. I'm gonna save right here. All right, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. Uh, maybe, hopefully, I can maybe upload one of these once every day or something. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be nice. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm doing this as part of the Final Fantasy Marathon. I, I do want to generally get through, play every single major Final Fantasy game, except the MMOs. I'm not, I'm not going to deal with that, but... I never, I never play with them. I want to get through them, um, and knowing that you guys, any of you guys, are actually interested in it would greatly help me out. Uh, and, like, just it would just be appreciated. So, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that good jazz. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the in the next let's play. See you guys.